Another download of gameplay. What is going on, guys? Breezy coming in with a new gameplay, and this one is just absolutely insane, guys. I dropped 45 headshots in one game. Um, if you do this two games and then play the start of another one, you're going to get your 100 headshots very, very quickly. So I want to run you guys through how to get loads of headshots, how to work your way up to that Dark Matter quicker, because I know a lot of people are keen to get Dark Matter camo. It looks absolutely amazing on the gun. So, you know, let's jump in. Let's talk about it. Um, first of all, we're going to talk about, you know, you're going to use a gun, what attachments we're going to use. The best attachment to use on all the assault rifles, Rifles, submachine guns, shotguns even, not so much the snipers, uh, maybe the pistols depending you know how you guys feel. Um, the first one's going to be red dot or the elo sight, I usually use the red dot until I unlock the elo and then I move on from there just because you can see a bit better but why I don't recommend using the iron sight is that the gun kind of blocks out the bottom half of the character or if you're trying to really line up a headshot it's a bit hard on some of the guns it's okay but some of them it really blocks that kind of point of view and you just can't see them properly so I do recommend using the red dot and the elo sight the next one I recommend is high caliber now you don't need this so much in hardcore domination um, where a lot of people go to get their headshots but using like the Shiva in core it's a one shot headshot if you got high caliber on um, it's also very good for some of the other guns if you're going to try grind it out in core um, or, you know, using something like the Weevil or something like that. I believe you can get high caliber in that. Um, and it just really helps, you know, get those headshots for a bit weaker of a gun. Um, the next ones I'm going to talk about is quick draw and grip. Um, grip to hold the gun steady. You don't want it kind of bouncing around too much. Uh, some of the recoil is side to side. So you want to be able to hold that very steady and quick draw just to get the gun up quick. You want to be ADS because you're going to have to really try to aim onto their heads. It's a small target. you got to be able to aim there. You've got to give yourself as much time as possible. So I do recommend using quick draw. The game mode we're going to talk about is you're going to use hardcore domination. It's the easiest, it's the quickest. You get lots of kills. The game goes on. There's kind of set spawns. You can really work it out. And it's good fun to play. Um, the specialist you're going to use is uh, Vision Pulse and Invis. Uh, Vision Pulse, you can kind of catch them out. You can see them coming. You can really prepare yourself for the kill. Uh, Invis, kind of similar. It's just more of to catch them off guard. They're not going to see you. And you're going to pick up a few kills uh, with that Invis. Perks I recommend using. Uh, Tracker is also a really good one. If you're kind of unsure where they are, you can kind of follow their trace around the map and just kind of pick them up. Or if you miss a guy, you can usually get up on the tracker and get in behind them. Easy headshot from behind. Dead silence. You don't want them hearing you come up behind them. That's probably the worst thing to happen. Uh, the next one you want is Ghost. Uh, obviously to keep yourself off the mini-map if they end up getting a UAV or something in Hardcore Dom. You don't want to come up on the mini-map. And the next one you're going to want is Hardwire. This is to reduce the effects of Sixth Sense um, and all those sorts of... And Tracker and... Sorry, those sorts of perks. Just because you want to limit yourself to as many things from the enemy team that they can do to you. You just want to be silent. Um, you don't really need Blast Suppressor so much. No one really picks up on that too much uh, playing hardcore, but, you know, that's that's a big thing to look out for. You know, your perks, hardwire is definitely one of the big ones, and, of course, dead silence. Um, you can kind of sand horn them quite a bit in this game, and it's very good just to get it. And right here, I pick up a nice double, and if I would have gone on to get that headshot feed, that would have been amazing. But um, speaking about my dark matter real quick, uh, I've done the assault rifles, submachine guns, almost finished the shotguns, almost finished the snipers. Almost finished the launches, so I've only really got the pistols and the LMGs that I've kind of done nothing on, but hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay anyway. As you can see there, I finished the game with 45 headshots. Remember to rate, subscribe, comment, favorite, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's all in the description below, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.